ISERV supports two initiatives of the state of Hawaii. The first one is a clean energy initiative, which has a goal of 100% renewable energy for the grid by 2045. The second one is Hawaiian Electric Company has issued their own electrification of transportation strategic plan. To do this, we need either battery cars or fuel cell cars. What ISERF can do to support the state is research in fuel cells and batteries. Storage technology in general is going to be critically important to the grid as we integrate more and more intermittent or variable renewable energy. We are conducting testing of a range of battery technologies, both to inform the utility and other users on selection of technology for integration in Hawaii, but also to identify ways of improving the technology itself to make it higher performing or more durable. And after six months to a year, I can tell you exactly how your battery degraded and why and what would be the best way to make it last as long as possible. Flow battery is a large-scale energy storage device, which is a cross between a fuel cell and a battery. The main application for flow batteries is large-scale energy storage for the grid, for instance, because the energy density of these devices is relatively low compared to lithium ion. We are currently looking to improve emission duration of power systems for unmanned vehicles, including underwater and aerial. We don't design the vehicles. We've done work supporting the Naval Research Lab in testing power sources, and that can be the batteries or fuel cells of the hybrid systems. One of the key capabilities at High Surf is to be able to perform long-term tests to understand the durability and the impact of these new types of uses for fuel cells will have on the actual fuel cell chemistry itself. Part of our research has been to look at how to operate vehicles, and they could be remote vehicles or they could be commercial transportation vehicles in harsher, more contaminated environments. And it's well known that a number of contaminants uh, negatively impact the operation of fuel cells. We've had a program to develop some novel filtration as ways of cleaning the air being pulled into the fuel cell to allow them to operate in harsher environments but that's included a set of sensors and controls so that we can actually turn fuel cells off and, and operate electrically from batteries as we need to in times of particularly harsh conditions. The unique testing capabilities that we have at HiSurf are to test air filtration materials, both commercial and novel, and direct the exit flow of that purified air into a fuel cell in precisely controlled environmental conditions. Temperature, humidity, and most importantly, air contaminant type and concentration can be controlled. So we have the capability of simulating any environment that a fuel cell system is going to operate in and understand how the air filter and the fuel cell will perform as a system in that environment. In the future, we'll continue having part of our activities devoted to improve methods to characterize fuel cells and batteries. Thank you.